Hello, hello, hello. I am so glad you are here. Let's take a look at this difficult green color. Hope you enjoy it. So as you can see, I have covered the wheel covers. Going to wash it now. Wipe on, wipe off. As I say in every video, make sure that you are cleaning the car very, very well. Clean the paper, clean everything. Blow it off. Make sure that you have blown yourself off. Um, it's very important to get all the edges, especially in the bumpers. Um, putting on my first coat of base. Just blowing it off, making sure it's clean. First coat of base, nice and light. You don't want to put too much or else you're going to be running into problems. So you're going to put on one light coat. You're supposed to see right through it. It's okay if you don't get coverage in your first coat. I'm going to try to stay away as much as I can from that hood because I don't want to see any color difference on there. So as you can see, it's consistent, consistent, consistent. Once you got your base dry, you're gonna go ahead and put on your second coat. You're gonna put it on a little heavier, medium wet coat. You wanna try to get some coverage. On a color like this, sometimes you might need three coats, two coats. It depends on the coverage of the color that you're spraying. But it's very important that you get enough coverage on there because it will help you to get rid of any modeling or any striping. I know that some people get striping, but this will help you to get rid of all the striping, get rid of the modeling, get rid of any uh, issues regarding the coverage. So if you get good coverage, get plenty of, of product on there to make sure you get good coverage. Obviously, don't over apply or the base will run, but it's okay if it looks wet obviously not like glass but it's okay if it looks wet for you to get some nice coverage on there just to make sure you don't run into problems because that could be um, not the funnest thing when you have to redo a job because you can see the primer right through it and a little trick that I use is I usually turn off the lights and then get the 3M sun gun and check everywhere that where there was the primer to do it I didn't do it on this one because I knew I had good coverage. But for like silvers or even black sometimes, because black sometimes don't cover very well with PPG. But I use it, the light, the 3M light or any kind of light that you might have. You turn the light, the lights inside the booth and you can check it by pointing the light at the vehicle and you will see that the primer spots will be highlighted. For some reason when you turn off the light, you can see better. How ironic is that? You turn off the light, you can see better. <laughs> so yeah, that's the way I do it, just to make sure I get good coverage on these cars because I have had to redo cars before where I don't get good coverage and you take it out in the sun and you are able to see where you didn't have enough uh, coverage in your base. So there's the second coat, nice and wet. I'm gonna dry that off really well, probably for 10 minutes if I have to um, so there it is now I will continue to put on my control coat the control coat the way that I do it the way that works for me everybody's different but it, if it works for me then it might work for somebody else out there I usually just back away from the panel quite a bit maybe double the amount that you usually do um, and you want to drop down the air pressure. Uh, I'm using a SATA 5000 HVLP. And 
I am, as you can see, very far away from the panel. You can see the fan, how big the fan is. That's how you can tell how far away you are, how big the fan is, how small the fan is. But I'm done. I'm gonna do a double drop coat on this vehicle because I want this metallics to lay down properly. So as you can see, I went across it, I went up, then I worked my way down again, and then I'm going all the way again. And I'm moving fast, but I have a nice overlap on there. So it gives you such a nice finish. There you go on the bumper as well. Nice big fan, you see how far away I am. And if you see wet spots, you're putting it on too wet. You want to kind of see it dull. You want it to go dull. You don't want it to be wet or else you see modeling. Um, you only want to put it on wet when you're trying to get coverage. When you're trying to do a control coat, drop coat, whatever coat you want to call it, you stay away and you move a little bit quicker to get the effect you want. Halfway through here, I remember that I had to turn on the camera. So that's my first coat of clear on the bumper. I've done my edges. I don't know about you, but I miss a lot of edges sometimes. <laughs> so make sure that when you're doing bumpers, you do your edges first and then you do the face of the bumper because it just works better that way. So first coat of clear, medium wet coat. Try to stay consistent. Make sure I'm staying away from that blend up there so that I don't get overspray where I don't want it to be. Um, the reason why we had to blend up there in the quarter panel is because with Audis it's kind of hard to stop that there because it's um, some of them have like the roof is connected to the quarter panel but um, there you have it just clearing um, see you have to stay consistent see how I'm going not quite to the edge of the door but I'm going past the front fender there and that's what I want and then you're gonna see now that I don't go quite to the edge of the door all right, I, st I stay away from the edge of the door because I had just already cleared it. And that's what you want to do to avoid um, too much buildup on, on the edges of the doors. So there's my second coat of clear. I waited about seven to eight minutes in between coats. I'm using EC530 clear. It's a beautiful clear. I love it. I've been using it for a while now and I've really got it dialed down to where I want it to and where it works best for me with the flash off times and the, the all that stuff which is good it's a very great clear um, and yeah so I'm doing the same thing I'm going all the way across and so you can see I'm trying to stay away from the edge of the door there on the left and I'm going over the edge of the door towards the fender and then I don't have to touch that again so you gotta make sure you do your inner wheels because sometimes I, I miss that when I'm rushing and I'm going too fast for my own good and I miss stuff or maybe that's just me so there you go two medium wet coats of the clear and you're good to go I use uh, spray max spot blender and it works really really well I'll make another video on that just how to prep blends properly so you can see that blends out really really nice um, I love this spray stuff it's really well but uh, the spray is only as good as your prep thank you so much for watching I am so grateful that you have taken the time to watch this um, I'll put the link at the description for this video here that I think you would find helpful. Until next time, God bless, stay motivated, kick butt.